I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Hey, Dr. Altman is my next guest. Thank you, Dr. Altman. Really appreciate you showing up. Sure. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm so glad I get a chance to talk with you. I was just telling my audience that you're a pediatrician, and you are here to share tips on how to make your baby um, getting the beneficial, make sure your baby is getting the beneficial bacteria and advice on staying healthy as your baby grows into a toddler, because this is March, and it is National Nutrition Month. It is, definitely. Okay, so why are we seeing an increase in eczema, allergy, diabetes, and obesity among our babies, our children today? You know, that's a great question. And while a variety of different factors come into play, you know, research has really pointed more and more to the importance of the infant gut microbiome. And that babies today aren't born, nine out of 10 babies today aren't born with this important gut bacteria that is needed to help colonize the gut, keep it healthy, and prevent overgrowth of bad gut bacteria. And it's this unhealthy bad bacteria that really leads to the dramatic rise we've been seeing in eczema, allergies, diabetes, and obesity. Okay, so this is, you call it bad bacteria. Are our environment so sterile we, we aren't creating those bad bacteria? So historically, babies receive this good, healthy gut bacteria from mom during the birthing process. But nowadays, due to modern medical advances such as C-sections and antibiotics, you know, nine out of 10 babies aren't born with the good gut bacteria that is needed anymore to help protect their gut. Okay. We're going to take a couple Facebook questions from you guys. I see you out there, but let me ask a few more questions. Uh, doctor, let me ask you, how can we make sure our babies have this beneficial gut bacteria? So that's a great question. In addition to breastfeeding and good nutrition, I recommend a good gut probiotic for all my babies, starting at day one. And the reason I like Avivo is because this is the only probiotic clinically proven to help colonize a baby's gut and help with all that good gut bacteria. The B. infantis in Avivo is the good gut bacteria that babies need. And we've been shown that 80 we've been shown that this can completely colonize the baby's gut and decrease the chance that they accumulate overgrowth of bad gut bacteria, which is what leads to the diseases we were talking about about earlier. So if the baby is no longer having this bad bacteria when it's being born, are the mothers not having the bad bacteria also to pass on to them? So that's a great question. So you want to colonize and pass on good gut bacteria to your infant. When you have a good gut microbiome filled with a lot of healthy good bacteria, then the bad gut bacteria can't grow. But when babies aren't born or aren't given the Avivo good gut probiotic when they're born, that's when you see a predominance of this unhealthy and bad bacterial overgrowth, which can lead to the diseases. Okay, I'm going to take this Facebook question because this is a really good one. Someone wants to know when you say the gut, what are you referring to? Are you referring to the stomach, the intestines? What does gut really mean? So that's a great question. And really, the gut means all of it. It means the esophagus to the stomach to the intestines and even what comes out in the poop. I mean, that's how we figured out that babies aren't born with this critical, important good gut bacteria is by studying baby stool over the last 100 years. So the gut is really one of the most important organs and one of the largest organs in your entire body and plays an important role in immune development. What else can we do to keep our babies healthy as they grow? 
So make sure to take your baby to their pediatrician for regular checkups. And it's very important to spend time with your baby. You know, nowadays parents are so busy. So you wanna spend time every day down on the ground playing with your baby, talking to your baby, reading books, singing songs, and really get outside every day. There's no substitute for one-on-one -on -one interaction. As my child is growing and they start to advance and, you know, self-feeding and things like that, what foods do you give them to keep them healthy then to keep that good bacteria in their stomach? So once Avivo has primed the gut with good gut bacteria, you want to make sure you feed a variety of healthy foods, especially high fiber foods. So whole grains, beans, legumes, fresh fruit and vegetables. We know that the younger you start babies eating fresh vegetables and fruit around six months of age, then they will grow up to be older kids who really enjoy healthy nutrition. All right, then. This is very interesting, Dr. Altman. Where can my audience find out more information? Because I see some uh, women who say they are pregnant on my Facebook page, and I know they want more information. Well, congratulations to all of you out there that are pregnant. This is such an exciting time. So for more information on how to raise a healthy body, healthy, healthy baby, go to babynutritiontips.com. Today, my guest has been Dr. Tanya Altman. She is a leading pediatrician and a best-selling author. Dr. Altman, thank you for being my guest today. Thank you for having me on.